Alright, and should be good to go. Hi, welcome to the next playthrough. Oh good, it does have... I don't know what cursor memory is. Whatever, I'm not using a cursor anyway, fuck off. I believe this is another RPG Maker game, or at least it's in the style of, if it's not RPG Maker. Either way, I've heard that this is good, so I wanted to check it out. I don't know anything about it, like usual. Oh hey, look, controls that aren't going to do anything for me because I'm using a controller. Ha 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 ha. It's already been two years to the day since Mother passed away. Surely Father would come today, at least. Lian. Cute design. <laughs> Five stars and everything. The girl headed towards her mother's grave. Narrow pointing at an object means that checking it will cause something to happen. You're nowhere to be seen. I guess I shouldn't have hoped for much. He's never come to visit with me before, either. Mother. Someday, I'll make sure Father and I come visit you together. Is it really that late already? I'll come back again, Mother. Please, watch over us from heaven. As the cemetery turned to sunset hues, the girl left it behind and hurried back home. Okay, that's Dash. Welcome home, Master. <laughs> Welcome home, Mistress Lynn. Smile five stars, yeah! I'm back at safe and sound. Now then, dinner has been prepared for everyone in the dining room. Right, of course. Uh, er, I was a little late getting home, wasn't I? No, it's no problem at all. After all, you told us that- what did I? Read comprehension. It's fine. After all, you told us that- what time you'd be back before heading out. He merely adjusted to match. Sorry for making things difficult. There was a time when I would worry if you were still up past nightfall, but ever since the lady of the house passed, you've become so graceful, Miss Mistress Lynn. I suppose I have. I'm growing up too. He <laughs> so you are. Now don't dawdle to the dining room. Right. Did you go climbing trees again today? I haven't done that since I was tiny. I'm 15 now, Diana. It feels like a little it feels a little lonely with how dignified you've become lately, mistress. Really? I'd call it a good thing. Okay, same dialogue. Look. Okay. Oh. <gasps> I can save whatever I want. grave. I'm sure you're aware, but today's the anniversary of Mother's death. And I know you must be busy, but, um, maybe next year we could go together? I'm sure Mother would love that. Um. What are you saying to me? Rose, my dear wife, is most certainly not dead. 
Mentality, one star. Okay. That's great now that he adores his wife, but like, why not adore your child? Rose. Rose. You're always here with me. Father! Don't you dare spout that nonsense about Rose being dead ever again! Hack. Cough. Father! Forget it. I'm fine. Excused it? Excuse it? Oh, that's the word. Please let us be excused it! That formal speech. Oh, she's charming. And with that stumble, she's exceeded 20 trips in a single day. Please just set the new tripping record. Good for her. Er, Mr. Slynn? Uh, um, sorry. I was just spacing out a bit there. Now let's eat. Yes, indeed. Certainly. Your seat, mistress. weather we're having. Yeah, it is nice. Er, uh, uh, it seems to be even nicer tomorrow. Oh, really? Uh, say, mistress, where you are this? There have been some frightening incidents occurring out in the area lately. Oh yeah, that's a good conversation to fucking cheer her up with. Incidents? Men walking around at night, having been getting killed one after another. It seems quite a hot topic in the papers. Diana, now is not the time for such topics. Oh, uh, you're, you're right, of course. Apologies. That was an inappropriate subject to bring up during a meal. Don't worry, it's alright. Mr. Slim, could I have a moment? Yes? What is it? <laughs> I love these stats. Forehead, five stars. Stash is only four, though. Hmm. Well, I did not stop you, what with it being the anniversary of your mother's death. Please do refrain from going out by yourself in the future. We cannot allow anything to happen to the only daughter of the noble Rin- I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. I was wondering if that would come up in conversation. I'm like, oh shit, I don't know what that. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Yay. It's fine. Okay, prepare for me to butcher every single German pronunciation. It's gonna be great. Anyway, we cannot allow anything to happen to the only daughter of the noble Rheinweiss family. Thank you for worrying about me. It's it's all right. I never go out without letting you know. Well then, that is a relief to hear. And considering the master's behavior ever since his wife passed, you must simply make yourself a worthy heir, heir as soon as possible, Mr. Slynn. Yes, sir. Granted, you have become quite refined as of late, Mistress. In the past, you would go out and not return until it was pitch dark. Say nothing of the tattered clothes that came out of your tree climbing escapades. <clears throat> yes, I'd almost forgotten. I'm certain your mother in heaven is pleased. Please, do keep it up. Thank you very much. Thank you for the meal. I'll be returning to my room now. Please don't hesitate to ask us for anything. I'll be there in a flash, as swift as a mountain. Um, what? Swift as a mountain? Apparently it's a saying that they have in Japan. Gordon taught it to me. The wind, Diana. Swift as the wind. Like he said. I don't really 
fella, but thank you very much. After, after dinner, the girl decided to head to her room in, at the east of... Uh, words. After dinner, the girl decided to head to her room at the east end of the first floor. Rumor. Serial murders. Added to notes. Open the menu and choose notes to view them any time. You know, at dinner, you had me serve quite a bit, didn't you? Huh? I figured as much. Refined as you may become, there's no changing your gluttonous nature. Thank you for your concern. Don't mention it. Okay, same shit. Okay, it's probably not gonna be like there's multiple dialogues for NPCs. Mistress, even if it is in your own room, you mustn't wear a jer- Ahem. <clears throat> Whatever it is. I always ask that you choose your dress with full cognizance of your status as a noblewoman. I, I understand, of course. Can I go elsewhere? Yeah, fuck you, game. I'm gonna go exploring. <gasps> Puppy! Good doggy. I have met doggos. Hey there. Oh, Kai, what are you up to? Oh, Mr. Slim, I'm teaching the, this dog some tricks. Turn. That's a good dog. Wow, amazing. I'm always out here in the garden, so this guy's the only one I've got to talk to. Well, then I'll do my best to come visit you in the garden as well. After all, I did play with you often in the past. To get away from studying, that is. I, I mean, no, that's not it. It was just for a change of pace. Sure, let's go with that. Still, you've gotten a lot more mistress-like lately. Thank you very much. But I think it'd be good if you could play with these guys from time to time. Of course. If I dress it, I will- oh, no. Guess I can't climb the ladder into the tree, damn you. Okay. Hey there, Lynn. How's my cooking today? Assault, just a pinch. Damn. <laughs> Whatever. Four stars. Oh. Your cooking is always delicious, Heinz. Well, because it's me making it. Of course it's delicious. And yet the master always leaves leftovers. That's because father isn't feeling well. But truly, thank you for everything you do. Hey, it's just my job. Come to think of it, you always used to sneak in here and grab a bite, but not so much lately. You're actually becoming a lady now. Feels kind of lonely. I, I don't do things like that anymore, okay? Okay, so this isn't like pixel hunting the game. So that's nice, I guess. <sighs> Bye. Will everything be alright, I wonder? The master has changed greatly since the death of his wife two years ago. Mistress Lin seems quite worried for him. It seems she's grown docile, perhaps even meek. As if she believes acting like Lady Rose will return the master to normal. But even Mistress Lin will give up, I'm sure, and admit that there's no bringing back the old master. No, that isn't what I'm concerned about. As Mistress Lin's educator, I must issue all her manners of warning. All men are from, uh, whatever. However, as a result of that, I am concerned whether the mistress has come to despise me. Oh dear, Gordon. You seem rather torn up about it. You were never very like to begin with, so it's quite alright. What was that? Do you suppose she'll ever call me Gramps again? Oh, I'm sure she'll be calling you something soon enough. Old coot, maybe? Anyway, I still have work to do, so please don't bother me. I can't be. Don't call me old coot, Mistress Lynn. No. Oh. There's 
I need to go this way. Fine, fine. Fine game, you win. It's a cute but very sparse room. trouble. Well, I'm troubled now. I want father to go back to being his kind self again. But I guess it's a problem between father and I. I'm sure you'd scold me, mother. Tell us to settle, uh, settle it ourselves. So, please just forget what I said. I'm... I'm sure things will be fine. As long as... As long as I'm good, I'm sure father will... He'll regain his positive outlook and look at me again. Though I'm not at all confident of that. <sighs> Today's just been no good at all. I was keep feeling down in the dumps. Gotta break out of this negativity. At times like this, I need a change of mood. That's right. There's only one way to get out of this funk. Today, I'm really gonna psych myself up. First, I need to make preparations. When it comes time to search a room, arrows will mark required places to check. Checking these places will cause the story to proceed. Let's see. Here it is. Obtained a headband. Ah, yes. That's where they were. Obtained glow sticks. Next up. Yep, you gotta have comfortable clothes. Ah, no doubt about it. Japan's Imamura brand is the best. From flexibility to feel the cost, they truly meet my every need. All that's left to do is pop them is pop down on the sofa. Operations are complete, and now, engage! What the fuck? Yeah, let's get started! Vampires. The undying monsters who feast upon the lifeblood of humans. With their grotesque power, the day these lords of the night come to rule this world is nigh. Indeed, so it was thought. Centuries ago, vampires really existed. They say this movie is a historical piece depicting what time what that time was really like. I mean, it's awfully dubious whether some of this stuff is stuff in this is actually non-fiction, but still, I've read the literature and I'm confident this movie is almost definitely mostly historical. Oh, goodness. My fellows, I commend you for coming, and I commend your determination. Had a cursed human. How irritating can- How irritating I can't exterminate them myself. It's unfortunate, but it seems even the power of the Nine Kings was no match. To, th to think we who are called kings would have to fear but a single human. Comrades, for the sake of the many vampires lesser than us, we must kill that human. And to that end, the hearts of the Nine Kings shall become one flesh. And so shall we be the only king. 
I don't like it, but so be it. Anything to kill that nuisance. We are nine, yet one. One, yet nine. All for one and one for all. Come, comrades, offer up your hearts. For the most heinous vampire who shall, who shall kill our foe, the one named... Oh, goody, another name I can't pronounce. N. I'm calling you N until I look you up. Should have fucking brushed up on my German, I guess. These nine kings are said to be the ancestors of all vampires. Their power is immense, but there's a human that can even they can't be. That means the vampires are in a real pickle. But not only do they not give up, they decided to combine themselves. A wild idea humans could never would never even consider. How compelling! How enchanting! Bwahaha. <laughs> More laughter. Born of the nine hearts offered by the strongest vampires. I am the king of the vampires. I am in. Like, is it like Nunto? No, that that feels like that's too simple as Nunto, right? Damn it! Now, puny humans, allow me to exterminate you. Evilly, bloody, bloodily, eternally. <laughs> in traveled across the land, and in every place he went, a deadly illness struck. Once more, it spread itself rapidly. Mothers wailed in horror, cradling dead children in their arms. Husbands who lost their wives died cursing the frailty of humans. Of course, many vampire hunters attempted to kill M, but they all died in vain. Played with like toys before his power. It was a slaughter of overwhelming violence. Some people have this theory. And they suggest that maybe an actual plague that once happened was that once happened was caused by N. Naturally, there wouldn't be there wouldn't be much they could do against a virus they couldn't see. And since he had the power of the nine people, vampiric vampiric ancestors at that, he was truly unstoppable. And then one day, the strongest human appeared. <laughs> so you've come. Monster, death is too good for you. I was beginning to tire of all these humans, unable to put up any resistance. It would seem they call you the strongest, do they, human? Starve- Stave my boredom somewhat, would you? Hmm. I'll end this in a flash. Now, human, let us dance joyfully beneath the crimson moon. Uh... Why is there always gotta be religion? Oh lord, run your judgment upon him. It seems the vampire hunter who fought in here really existed too. Even though vampires are immortal beings, it's said that he was able to kill them. What a rivalry! So intense! The most heinous of vampires and the strongest of vampire hunters clashed. Rumor of that battle spread far and wide, yet none know the outcome of their fight to the death. However, one thing is certain. After this day, vampires completely vanish from the stage of history. I mean... My guess would be that he said death is too good for him. So, my guess would be that he cursed him or bound him into some kind of other body or what have you. Just... Stripped his powers away, something. Man, no matter how many times I watch that, I'll never get over how cool vampires are. Even across all the literature I've read, it seems nobody knows who won, like the movie says. But if the vampire had won, then I'm sure this world will be ruled by vampires now. Still, I can't help but dream. 
If a vampire appeared and sucked the blood from my neck, uh, I can hardly contain myself. Er, <clears throat> strictly out of curiosity, I understand it's not very likely. Huh? Isn't that late already? I guess I got a little overstimulated. I'll have my bath and get to bed. The first... The butler Gordon gets super mad at me whenever he catches me wearing a tracksuit. It's so inconvenient not being able to wear one outside my room. <laughs> I'm sorry, tracksuit. Someday, I'll get Gordon wear- I'll get Gordon wearing one of you. Okay, bath time. It's pretty late, so I better act quietly. Was that... father? What is he doing at this hour? Damn straight, I'm gonna go. I just heard the front door close. Did father go outside? That's unthinkable. His health has been poor ever since mother passed away. It's rare to even see him out of his room except for meals. And when he does go outside, he always has some someone accompany him. Not only that, but we're... There are those rumors about a murderer? Father! <laughs> the court's over without telling anyone. But I don't have much choice here. Father, just where are you going? Checking to see if he's being watched? Why in the world would he be so wary, I wonder? Is there something he doesn't want people to see? Alright then, I'll follow him in secret. Mission. Tell my father. Goody. The girl decided to discreetly follow her strangely acting father. The girl's aged father seems to have poor visibility in the dimly lit streets. He likely won't notice her when turning around as long as she were hiding behind something. However, were she to fall too far behind, the girl would surely lose sight of her father. He's starting to move! this way, but... Screaming. A scream? Eek! <laughs> They've been killed! Both of them! Danger, the girl took off immediately. Damn it, I should have fucking saved. Upward. I'm the alley up there. No! 
it's a dead end. Shit. 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 Please, stay away. Somebody. Somebody help me. Father. I did a good question mark. And seems to be gone, but huh? What? What is this place? Why is there no one here? Not only that, something strange. This place feels otherworldly. I guess I better find out where this is. The girl decided to look or take a look around. Just now, did something? Why? For some reason, I don't want to go this way. Yeah! I didn't even do anything! Why did it break? Yeah, I can't really examine everything under the sun. Like I can in a previous game. Like in a. Ooh, okay. Ow! I can't see it, but there's something there. Nope, I can't get through here. Hi. I just got the feeling someone was watching me. It's just my imagination, right? Imagination. Yeah. The, the path keeps going, doesn't it? There's no one here, and I can't go anywhere. Why am I trapped in this bizarre place? I've had enough. Mother, help me. I've never seen one in real life before. What's the matter? Are you saying to come with you? Uh, wait! I can't go that way! Wait, huh? I guess I can now? I'll just have to go, I suppose. Please hold on! seen this huge castle before, and I've certainly never heard about it either. The bat went in, so I can't help but following, but... Excuse me, is anyone here? It's run down, but there is still lighting. I'm sure someone must live here. Hello? No doubt about it. I think someone's watching me. Which means, there is someone here, isn't there? Uh, I just want to know where I am. The girl decided to search for the one watching her. Uh, don't go searching for what you don't want to find, really, but you know, whatever. Hello. There are mirrors in the eyes of the pumpkin. Hmm? Something's written on this sign. Slap me. Er, slap you say? Um, all I did just say, fuck it. I'm a smack. I, I don't- I'd rather pet you. 
But you asked for him to be slapped, so I shall snap. Alright, you asked for it. Yeah! Oh! What's the meaning of this? Well, uh, I take it there's someone through there? I guess this was meant to happen. Let's just try to go. Holes in the stairs make it difficult. Oh, okay, this is meant to happen. I thought I was being smart. It looks like this leads underground. Pardon me, is anyone there? But really, thinking about it, just who was that earlier? If I hadn't gone away, I would surely ended up like those two corpses. I wonder, was there some connection between that person and father? Is he? Uh, let's not think about that. That was kind of my first thought, too. I was like, oh, I think mother maybe his father, dearest, uh, is the murderer. <laughs> maybe he needs to sacrifice enough souls to bring back a dead soul. Who knows? I'm focusing too much on negative things. Eek! Jeez, it's just a mouse. Uh, what is going on here? Let's keep moving. I'm sure there's someone here. This place... Is this a chapel? Why is there a chapel underground? Oh, hey. Unless they're reusing the same assets or whatever, this looks fucking familiar as shit. I don't see anyone around. I'll at least take the chance to sit on a pew and rest a little. Sure enough, was that person somehow connected to father? Those two were killed. Did that also have to do with father? But then, maybe father was just called there for some reason or another. Maybe to be killed himself. No, that can't be it. He just wanted to take a late night stroll, I'm sure going to happen to me? No one's here. At this rate, I'll... Huh? Now what's that? It's... a coffin? What is this doing here? I love that you didn't notice this in the first place. Now that I look at it, this looks like just... This looks just like the place from that movie. No, but that can't be right. Should I open it? 10 out of 10, yes. Wait, what am I thinking? Use some common sense. The only thing you'd expect to find in here is... Why would I ever want to open this? Seriously now, what does that say me about me as a person? But... All told, there's no one here. It seems I'm at a dead end. If I'm just gonna die clueless and alone in this bizarre place, then... Then aren't I at least allowed to dream about being a vampire... Dream about there being a vampire sleeping in here? So there. Yeah! There... really was someone inside. He's breathing. It's not a corpse. And these teeth, sharp like fangs. Could this be a real vampire? Still, what a pretty face. For some reason, looking at this person's face really calms me down. Almost like I've met him somewhere? Uh, I'm feeling so exhausted. I don't know if you're a vampire or not. Please let me rest a little. Father? Mother?
that was a fun opening and also gave me the question of like is this vampire actually gonna be the uh, ancient badass one and uh yes unless they just unless they decided uh, unless they can uh words have children uh that's uh that's mr big ass badass himself although i guess either with his powers stripped or something akin to that or trapped in a different body yeah that's uncomfortable i right i fell asleep where is this why am I in this pitch dark place? Why am I sitting in this comfy chair? Those eyes on me again. Who are you? You've been watching me, right? And here I was thinking, nah, this, that can't be right. So you really did notice, huh? Where are you? What do you tend to do with me? What am I gonna do? Oh, nothing really. But if you wanna meet me, you're gonna have to leave that chair. So stand up first. I suppose I should follow along for now. Um, now what? Okay, now face left for me. Now, go, go, go straight toward the wall. Understood. I'm at the wall. Now take a walk along the wall. Once you come across a mirror, you should come to a stop there. Alright, understood. The girl did his mysterious voice instructed, walking along the wall in search of a mirror. Is this the mirror you were talking about? It's right behind the chair I was sitting in earlier. Yeah! Huh? <laughs> Where are you looking? I'm right here in front of you. What does that mean? It means this. Uh, your body. Nice to meet you, Missy. My name's Zissai. Zissai. I'm an unstable entity, so I can only live within mirrors. Though, hmm, you don't seem too surprised. Well, a lot of strange things have happened up to and including my arrival here. Maybe it's just maybe I'll all they calm. Hmm, is that it? Yeah, I guess that tracks. I thought I might surprise you more. Get to see you scared. Oh, well, that's too bad. But I wonder if hearing this might freak you out e freak out even you. Hearing what? <laughs> you wanna know? The Lord of this castle. Why, he's a terrifying vampire. Vampire? Yes, a vampire. He sealed you alive in this room so he can suck the blood from your veins. Isn't that scary? Feel free to cry, okay? So you're awake. <laughs> Human, welcome to my castle. I am the lord of this castle. Lord Arn, the vampire. Oh no, he's here! He's gonna suck your blood! Really? Are you really a vampire? Yes, I am indeed a vampire. I shall prove it to you now, human. How exactly? Stand aside. Uh, okay. Oh! Vampires don't appear in mirrors. Ah, so you at least possess that meager knowledge. Well, of course. N 
now that you understand that I am a true vampire. Human, offer your blood to me. D what is it? Have you some final words? D D D Do as you please, absolutely yes, 100% suck my blood! Huh? You're the real deal, aren't you, hair vampire? Uh, hey, hold on. Then by all means, go for the jugular! Wait, human, calm yourself. Come on! Now, see here. Do it! What is it with her? Hey, Zeissi, this isn't what we discussed. Did I not tell you to spook her a little and get her to run home? This is fun, though. So far. So, isn't it fine? No, it isn't. Come on, I'm ready. Let's go! <laughs> God damn it, I love her. This is reminding me of a book series that I read in high school. I want to go reread now. I apologize for my unsightly behavior earlier. I got so caught up in the moment, meaning the object of my aspirations. To make one such as I recoil in horror is no small feat, human. Yes, I'm doing some self-reflection. Err. What? Hair Vampire, did you save me? It was not I. Zeissi merely found you when you wandered into this world. Isn't it often that humans come to this world? It, it isn't often that humans come to this world, so I thought it'd be interesting. This world? What do you mean by that? Well, you see. Wait, Zicey. If you're gonna be part of this conversation, come to the hand mirror. Roger that. Yahoo! So you can move between mirrors? <laughs> this is no ordinary mirror, I'll have you know. Normally, as one does not appear, as one who does not appear in mirrors, I am unable to perceive Zaisi. I'm unsure why, but it seems that's how it is. And what I see in this world is, and what I see is the world reflected by mirrors, which means I can't see vampires. However, this mirror, along with the one you first saw, allows us to perceive each other and converse. I'm not sure I understand, but so it's a wondrous mirror. Go, it, got it. Indeed, knowing that much should suffice. Come to think of it, your clothes actually don't reflect either. You often see that in movies, but honestly, I thought clothes would show up. Any possessions of mine do not reflect so long as they're touching my body. Neither the contents of my pockets nor items in a bag I'm wearing will appear either. How deeply mysterious! Now then, we've gotten a bit off topic. Zaisi, continue. Gotcha. Er, so about this world, right? We'll start with this town. It's named Lugenberg. It's located in another world, a bit misaligned from the world you live in. This is a place for those like us, the people who are not people. To be more su succinct, this is a town of non-humans. Lugenberg? A town of non-humans? Oh, why did I end up in such a place? I know not. However, it is not as uncommon as you may think. You know what being spirited away means. You know what being spirited away means, right? You mean, when someone goes missing under mysterious circumstances? Yep, exactly. Miss, you get spirited away yourself. Sometimes the boundary between your world and ours becomes a little fuzzy. You just happen to stumble into it. Congrats. Of course, there's always conditions that cause the border to weaken, but it seems this time was different. Well, not that it really matters. Sheesh. Such a troublesome human. It's not like I wanted to come here. Incidentally, humans are a pretty valuable food resource here. Uh, if you'd have been left out to dry, you would have been devoured for sure. Uh, thank you so much for saving me. Oh, but speaking of food, Hair Vampire, you always hu suck human's blood, right? But earlier, you declined sucking my blood. Do I look like I taste that bad? Well, about that. I works as a detective here, you see. 
and he takes blood as payment for his work. In fact, that's the only blood he'll drink. He's a real oddball of a vampire. He used to be a sight to behold once, though. He speaks the truth, human. A detective? I refuse. I didn't even say anything yet. I didn't need to hear it. You were thinking of asking for my services, weren't you? So you saw through me that easily. The mark of a true detective. Are you mocking me, human? Mock you, Herr Vampire? Unthinkable! Come now, Arn. Why not at least listen to her story? Yeah, right? So basically... Hold on. I didn't say I would listen. It's about my father. Stop, human! Aha, uh -huh, I see. So that's what you went through before you arrived here. I end up hearing the story anyway. That's why I'd like you to do an investigation into father. Human, I can declare two possibilities regarding your father. He's either alive, or he's dead. Right. If he's dead, it's highly likely he's either unrelated to the one atta who attacked you, or their enemy. And if he's alive, they're likely one and the same, or collaborators. As I thought. But I can't imagine that person was father. Father's health has been failing for a long time. I just can't imagine him doing those inhuman moves. Besides, I ran over immediately after I heard screaming. To think he could kill two people in such a short span of time. Hmm. It is a bit awkward to say after you've already told me this much, but... This is truly trite. Go bother human police or the like about those petty quarrels between humans. I refuse to take jobs that don't pique my interest. No way! Eh? What's the problem? Come on, accept the job. Doesn't it sound kind of fun? Besides, do you think somebody like her would have the tastiest blood? Wait, what I? Do you want to drink it? Stop bringing everything back to that. It's so annoying. Hair vampire? Even if you suck my blood or turn me into a vampire, I won't care. Don't you consider that as a bonus, rather? Uh, of course not. You're drooling. Uh, no, I'm not. As a vampire fanatic, I just want to experience having my blood sucked, that's all. Is there something wrong with her? <laughs> Come on, it's fine. And hey, I'll gladly assist for free this time. Okay, accept the job, Arn. Mr. Zicey, thank you. Hair vampire, please accept. Both of you pleading isn't going to change my mind. That pendant of yours. Huh? Human, where did you get that? This is... a keepsake I received from my departed mother. Mother? No, surely I'm wrong. What's the matter? Hmm. I've become a bit interested now. Really? Very well. But first, I must have you take a test. A test? Oh, it's nothing complicated. You mean that test, right? Ooh, how mean. Don't interrupt this with your comments, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here I have one red ball and two cups. Turn both cups over, human, and place the ball in one of them. Ooh, ooh, okay. Is it, is it follow the ball? Like this? Very good. And you acknowledge that I touched nothing. Yes, you didn't lay a finger on anything here, vampire. Good. Now, human, let me ask you. Which cup contains the red ball? Huh? Hmm? Is that a difficult question? No, I didn't mean that. Then answer it. Okay, um, the red ball is... Okay, hang on, game. What are you doing to me? Okay, I'm not gonna continue just in case I have to answer on a timer. It's either gonna be... Hmm. Cause, theoretically, it should be the red cup, right? 
but he emphasized I touched nothing. So would it have actually magically moved to the blue one? Oh, or not in either cup. Okay. Theoretically, it's the red cup, but I feel like that's too easy of an answer. But maybe I'm just overthinking. If I get this wrong for some reason or whatever, I'll reload and go through this entire fucking cutscene again. I definitely put the ball in the red cup, which means the red ball is still in the red cup. Mm hmm. I can admire being so straightforward. However, I asked which cup contains the red ball, and there's no ball in the red cup. No way! The ball melted. We vampires can freely manipulate our own blood. Which is what that ball was made from. That's not fair! You're a cheater! How did I cheat? I never said I wouldn't use any powers. You should learn to have some suspicion, human. Since I failed your test here, vampire, that means you won't accept my request, will you? At least... At least let me keep this ball of blood from the test as a souvenir. Yikes! That's just a creepy thing to just casually ask. Hold on, human. I said nothing about you failing the test. Huh? What we just conducted was something akin to a psychological test. A way of learning what kind of human you are. And I found myself a bit interested by the result. Me too, me too. It's not often you find a human who'd react to vampires like she does. Then... Give your thanks to that pendant of yours. The moment I found my interest piqued by it, your request was as good as accepted. Congrats. Mother, thank you so much. Now then, human, give me a name. A name? The name of the client who seeks the services of the Arn Detective Agency. Oh! It's Lynn. Lynn Reinweiss. Oh shit, did I remember it correctly? Eh, whatever. I'm requesting an investigation. I'm requesting an investigation into what my father is doing. As a member of the Rheinweiss family, I simply have to know. Very well, Lynn Rheinweiss, your request shall be undertaken by the Great Arn. I'll help out too, little Lenny. Hair vampire, Mr. Zicy, thank you so much. Enough of this hair vampire business. I take it you don't care for being denoted by your species either, Lynn Rheinweiss. And... Lord Arn? Yes, that'll do just fine. Okay. Now then, let us get to it. I have some preparations to make, so wait there a moment. Understood. I'll leave this ha I'll leave this hand mirror here. So I see, entertain the client. You got it. Okay, now I'm kinda curious what would happen if I'd like actually clicked neither. I see. Just I see's fine. What's up? And then, just I see. Yes, Linny? I know Lord Arn is a vampire, but what kind of species are you, I see? Just at a glance, you have some wolf like ears. Are you a werewolf, maybe? Hehehehe. <laughs> I'm just a boy who cried wolf. A boy who cried wolf? Like the liar from the fairy tale? Yep, I'm a liar. Which means... maybe that's a lie, too. What? I feel like you're dodging the question. <laughs> Enough about that, though. Why do you like vampires so much, Lynn? Er... Uh, when... When Mother died two years ago, I ran away from home out of shock. But afterward, a bad person who I knew was a daughter of the Renvice family kidnapped me. And let me guess, then a vampire saved you? Yes, a would-be vampire. Would be? Well, that's what they told me instead of their name. Interesting. But somehow, I can't even remember what they looked or sounded like. Maybe I was just imagining things. Is it Arn? But ever since then, I've become a vampire fanatic. I see, I see. Ah, looks like Arn's back.
Did he? How cute! What's the matter? Are you lost? Do you want to play with me? Come on, over here. You can sit on my lap, okay? Cripes. Cease this, Lynn Reinweiss. It's me, Arn. Why do you know my name? Oh, did Lord Arn tell you... Huh? Arn? Yes, Arn who accepted your request. I am the great Arn... God, I need to figure out what that fucking name is. Right. Arnie, I mean, Lord Arn, the adult appearance you had earlier was your original form, but since you only have one of your original nine hearts now, you look like this. And after you drink blood, you can temporarily regain your adult appearance? Is that it? Precisely, Lynn Reinweiss. With only one remaining heart, my power is two is one ninth of what it once was. Even so, I have far greater intelligence than the likes of any human. So, I have little other choice but to do detective work. Also, do not casually attempt to call me Arnie. I think Arnie suits you better, though. Hmm? Uh, no, it's nothing. Uh huh? Hold on a second. What? Lord Arn, you said. You're. You're in. Ah, God. Right? Yes, I did. Nine hearts? The place just like the chapel from that movie. With so many unbelievable things happening, it's been hard for me to think straight, but... You're... You're that? Nin? In? And what do you mean, that? In? The heinous vampire who was born by the sacrifice of the nine vampire king's hearts? The one whose mere walking... Mere walking spread disease who struck down countless vampire hunters? Evilly, bloodily, fantastically, near unto <laughs> You're that in? Putting aside the puzzling bit at the end, I more or less am. You're quite knowledgeable for how long ago it was. That's because I've studied all sorts of literature and stories. Mother, father, at last the vampire lord in is before me. The real one? Yes, the real one. What need would I have to lie? That's true. There'd be no point. So if you're in... Lord Arn, is the fact that you only have one of your nine hearts now because of your fight with the ultimate vampire hunter? Tch, so you even know that part. Right, we're done here. Enough talking about me. Oh, come on. Please tell me more. Is it true you hate lemons? I said we're done here. Do you want me to withdraw your request? That would be a problem for me. Sheesh. At any rate, Lynn Reinweiss. Last night, I wasn't sleeping well and drank quite a bit of blood before bed. Wow, so you drink blood like you would warm milk. Oh, wait. That's why you were in your adult form when I found you. Yes, exactly. However, drinking so much exhausted my stock of blood. It's no hindrance to stay in this form necessarily, but it could be a problem in a crisis. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're asking me for an advance payment of the blood for my request. In other words, you want to suck my blood right away. That's fine, of course. Uh... Catch on quick, Line Reinweiss. Before I begin this inves investigation, I shall take from you the fee. Or the fee. Haha, <laughs> I thought he was cutting himself off. Give me your blood. G Gladly! I have to admit, that energy of yours makes me feel a bit gross. Don't be mean! Look, don't they say that you should experience everything once? Come on, say something. Hehehe, <laughs> this should be fun. That's, uh... Okay. What's the matter, Lynn Reinweiss? You seem quite dour. You tricked me. This is fraudulent. What about it is fraudulent? I thought you would suck my blood directly. 
What's this drawing blood business? Since when do vampires draw blood? It's more efficient to preserve blood and be able to carry it around, yes? I mean, I guess, but my dreams, my maidenly dreams. Enough about that nonsense. Now look, this is the real Lugenberg. Lynn Reinweiss, you have been recognized as my guest and a member of this town. Had you not been, the residents would not show themselves to you. This is the real Lugenberg, the town of non-humans. No, even so, you may still be eaten if you let your guard down. Wait, eaten? Let's leave town quickly. Don't respond if anyone talks to you, understand? Are interested? Right. So you say that, and I'm a... Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Ignore her. Ignore her. It'll only be trouble if you reply. Gonna send a letter, goat? I will not. Oh, goat. Aw, oh, how cute. Still it's humans, though. Uh, let's keep moving. Uh, no. Fine. <laughs> I'll give you a cucumber. Don't accept that if you value your rear end. Eek! Doppelganger, don't look at it or you're dead. Don't worry about the explanation, let's just hurry out of here. We're here. This is my house. Quite the mansion. So first, I need to invite you into the house from the back garden, right? Indeed, as vampires cannot enter a place without the permission of a resident. Unnoticed and investigate father's room? Precisely. I don't care to reveal myself to humans. Being that is hoped for, I'll act under the assumption your father's alive. But don't mind if baby's dead, got it? I he'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Now, when you return to the mansion, do your best to divert people's attention. I'd like to have the most freedom possible. Are you up to it, oh spoiled mistress? I'll do whatever I can. I just realized, it's already day, but you're walking around outside. That is truly a late realization. Well, I understand where you're getting at. It's true, vampires are weak to sunlight. Yet because I have one-ninth of my power, ironically, the effects of sunlight are also reduced to one-ninth. That means it still has some effect, right? Indeed. I can't bear it for long periods. Even now, my skin's itching a bit. So it's like being susceptible to sunburns. Don't equate it with that. Here. Now then, Lynn Reinweiss, go inside and invite me in. Uh, but this gate is usually locked. That's of no concern. Stand aside. It's open. What did you do? I inserted my blood into the key hole to create a duplicate key. That's amazing. So you really were a vampire. What do you mean by that? Oh, I mean, I believed all along, of course. Look me in the eye and say that. <sighs> At any rate, hurry up and invite me in. Okay. Er, uh, welcome. Please come in. Right. Ah, uh, if it isn't Mistress Lin. Uh, Kai! Where were you? You were out searching all for you all night. Um. Go now before he gets suspicious. Right. Luckily that guard. Luckily, 
lucky that the guard dogs won't bark at you near the master, but still. It's no good to sneak in through here, mistress. I'm sorry. I'm sure I worried you all. You used to sneak in this way all the time whenever you were out past curfew. Kinda brings me back. Now, come on, go and show yourself to everyone with a smile. Yes. From the behavior of that servant, it seems likely her father's alive. What a disappointment. Oh well, I suppose I'll go. I think before I go sprawling, sneaking off through the mansion, I think we're gonna have to go because it's about time for me to start work. Quick. <laughs> this is interesting so far. I like it. I like it a lot. Really curious what's gonna happen. Anyway, hope you had a fun time. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how the fuck to pronounce this hard's last name. I really should've just brushed up on my German that I don't know. Anyway, have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, morning. Shit, I already forgot everything I just said, whatever. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Later.